Hey guys, it's Jasmine 3 and welcome to another weekly vlog. I know it's been a while and the other one still hasn't even been started editing, despite the fact that it was filmed like a month ago. So, but Ink's computer parts are all completely here. They've been here for a while, I just haven't had the time to put them together. But this week, we are going to do it. Computer or bust. I keep saying that lately. We also have quite a few other things on our agenda, starting off today. I, um, uh, I need to record Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Because I haven't done that yet. Uh, it's supposed to go, the next part's supposed to go up Monday. I don't want to do an hour delay. It might end up being like that because I didn't feel like recording yesterday and I don't know if I'm going to feel like recording today either. Uh, I just kind of need to get the stuff done. But more importantly, what's finally going to be done? My closet! Oh, the plastic fell down. Are you kidding me? You can kind of see the drywall is back up and I had to spackle it because you know my dad did. Yes, that is where I drew on the wall when I was six. This closet has literally never been painted and I tore it on the shelves and because I'm like, the spackle needs something to protect it, so. I'm just gonna have to be painted. No! No! You're not going in there. Yeah, meet Conehead. She has become extremely noisy since we put the cone on her and she has made it her goal to be the biggest nuisance possible. No, I am not exaggerating at all. This cat <laughs> has made it her entire life's purpose to ruin ours. You might notice she's wearing a cone and also a flea collar because she is very allergic to fleas. And thanks to having to bring Lady in for a few nights during a really cold winter, uh, she gave the rest of the cats fleas. They did get treated with flea medicine, but the flea collar is like an extra preventative measure. This is apparently supposed to be a really good flea collar. But you can see how she's trying to itch really, really bad. Yeah, that's why she's wearing the cone. This is not the first time this has happened. Her entire back, you can probably notice the fur is a little thin right here. And she is covered in scabs. You can see how some of them have flaked off. It's it's bad. She's she's hurting. One night she was able to rip her cone open until we put tape on it so she can't open it anymore. And we got up the next morning and found a pile of white fur where she just sat there and licked and tore out a bunch of her fur. And then she had a hairball on my floor. Yeah, I'm calling you out. But no joke, she... <laughs> is going out of her way to try and make all of us as miserable as she is. <laughs> the sweetest cat in the world. <laughs> and she's trying to be a pain. She refused to let me sleep at night. I'm not joking at all, by the way. She's decided, since she's wearing this cone, she's no longer satisfied with sleeping on my shoulder. She wants to sleep on my face. Just, she'll like start going at the shoulder, then she'll flop on my face. It's like, Daisy, I can't breathe. And then one night I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna let her sleep like that. One night, whatever, that was a mistake. She literally woke me up an hour later by stepping on my lip and then slipping with her claws out. And it's like, <sighs> and then she goes and she claws, as she's walking over me, she sticks her claws out and it's like, Daisy, that's my face. But she also had this really big sympathy routine. You might notice she wants to really go in my closet because she wants to go in the wall and sleep on fiberglass insulation. She's not allowed to do that, obviously. But it doesn't stop her from going and literally pressing her entire cone against the door and just crying. And she'll walk around and every time she... <laughs> Can you... You mind? She walks pretty normally when she doesn't think anyone is looking at her. But the second she knows you're looking at her... She'll fold her ears back completely to act like I'm so, t my head is so trapped in this cone and she'll waddle behind you and then purposefully walk into walls. I'm not joking. She'll purposefully like walk straight into stuff to be like, oh, poor me. She has the biggest sympathy routine and then she'll just look up at you with these big eyes and cry and it's like, oh, you sucker. You are cunning. You know that? You know that? Yeah. You are a cunning little girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. If I scratch her right here, it gets her leg going. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Enough about the cat. We are going to be going over what we're going to be doing this week. So, first thing's obvious, building a computer. Second thing, and we're going to do this like today, we're going to paint my closet because I'm sick of all my stuff being in the living room. I want to put the closet back together and the sooner the better. And we got a bargain because somebody returned a can of white paint at Walmart. So we got this entire can of paint for $9. Talk about a deal. I'm keeping the door closed. My dad's also home. That's why I don't know if I can record. I can never record on weekends because he's loud and obnoxious. Okay, I need to get enough yakking. I need to actually paint the closet, which means you need to get out of here. Yeah, don't don't give me 
Don't give me that look. <laughs> Come on. That's a good girl. Now the cats are gone, I can get to work painting this. My dad did a really bad job pointing the drywall back on. I mean, you can see how much this juts out. You can see that, that's the end of the drywall. But the cameras won't focus. I guess there's not enough light. I guess I don't need this anymore. This is from an access panel that no one ever covered. This is also gonna change. We've got a piece of plywood, we're gonna paint it and screw it on because this cardboard, the tape's not sticking. <laughs> so, I guess it's time I get to painting. Oh no, I just got dust on my tripod pad and my, and my signatures are right here. What was I just thinking? So far on schedule, first coat of paint is done and that actually took a while. And first coat, it looks all right, you know. My mom said I didn't have to do the ceiling, but I did the ceiling anyways. You can't go in there. No, no, no. Oh, he doesn't care. He's like, oh, window cracked. Cause it stinks in here and it's also hot. But it's okay, there's a, there's a herd of deer. Look at them all out there. I know you see me. Yeah. Don't stop your foot at me. Oh boy, my mom likes to give him corn. Oh, he is so interested. Are you interested in the deer? <laughs> He's so adorable. I have to charge this camera battery though because I'm gonna be needing it for like an hour. I don't think it'll last that long. So put the camera away, get a snack and then record. So about that recording I was supposed to do, um, yeah, it hasn't gotten done because of this thing. Okay, so in order to do the video about Chow, I need to actually get all my Chow situated, basically. But the problem is, he just won't evolve. I have been sitting with him here for three hours, giving him fruit, trying to convince him to evolve. I even went ahead and I, I looked up ev evolution here on Chow Island. This Chow Island wiki is so amazing. Oh my god, what am I to do with you, Louie? I just want you to evolve, then I can get you your penguin so you have your eyebrows. And then, and then I'll be ready to do the chow video tomorrow. Can you please evolve? Do it for me. <laughs> I even concerned that maybe he evolved into a neutral type chow off screen. I never noticed and that's why. You know, wait, I know one way to check. Hold up. I love this. They have this 3D chow viewer that runs on Unity. I just came to realization. In this chow viewer, when I selected the child and put, you know, max power as stats, as it gets older, it doesn't get that tuft on its head. When you change it to a normal type, he evolved and we never even knew. Well, I guess I, I can show chow reincarnation. The reason he's in the Mystic Ruins Garden, by the way, is that the Egg Carrier Garden is because the Mystic Ruins Garden is empty. Salvari and stuff still in the VMU, and the other Chow are still in Station Square. So, you sir gotta reincarnate, so I'm still gonna sit here. Now he won't stop crying. Come on, Chow only reincarnate if they had a happy life. Please stop crying, Louie. Oh my god, I don't want to stop just in case this mess up. Hold on, I need to start recording. Okay, the recording is turned on. <laughs> he tripped and I picked him up. He's in the tripped animation. Yeah. Oh my god, I can walk around with them. Are you good, Louie? <laughs> Just in case he does evolve and I don't get on camera or he walks away or not evolve, reincarnates, it's not gonna be off camera. Worst come to worst, I can just roll it back. So, what the heck? Why are there so many eggs? What? I'm just gonna say that's a glitch. If it's not, it's on camera. <laughs> well, it is all finished. You can take a look. I have a nice white finished closet that still needs to get sealed up. That's going to. I have actually cleaned myself up, as you can see, because I don't have paint on the bottom of my feet. Ha ha. And this now needs to get closed up. It still smells. It's still wet, but can't have any cats going in there. <sighs> Kitties can come in now. Oh, first one. <laughs> you immediately going for the window? She's going to go for the window. You got to go for the window? There she goes. If there's an open window, she is so in it. Oh, and Louie is also just sat here like crying the whole time, but I was holding him because I didn't want him to like evolve or anything. I figured that way he's still in the garden, but I hope like time doesn't pass in the other gardens when you're in one garden. You gotta go into your cocoon already. You've had a happy life. Don't complain you just sat there crying. That was your own fault, okay? That was your own doing. Oh, Louie, you cause more trouble in this game than you do in Pikmin 3. Well, I am giving up. For some reason, every chow in the Station Square Garden has turned into an egg. I guess even though you're not in the same garden, it still counts as passing time, which is stupid. And now every chow in the Egg Carrier Garden has literally vanished. 
Ah, uh, I got some work to do. Hold the phone, hold the phone. I just won a quick draw on on Webkins. I got a Garnet Rover window. Oh my god, this is... I was thinking that it wasn't even possible. Holy cow. Also, I didn't do any recording today. I literally, like... Okay, you see the time? Like, just about a half hour ago, I finally got the chow garden set up, and... It's dark out. Oh, and there's Peek. He's had his dinner. He's real sweet. Not build the computer today either. <laughs> no. So I think it's time I finally work on my channel trailer a little bit more. These are a lot of the like clip selections, by the way. See that song? That's the stuff that's like actually there and for the video. This is the rest of that's all been clipped and it has a possibility of getting in. It's just like there if I need it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I am really excited for this channel trailer. I really like it. But I am pretty sure everyone else is going to hate it. The reason is this mostly focuses on video games and to be honest, it's to give you an example of things I like, things that I play, and I guess this editing can also show a bit of personality and how my editing style is. I also put in some of my own work here and stuff like I, I'm trying to integrate more webkin stuff, but the problem is I don't remember a lot. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have like Xenoblade 2 freaking memorized. <laughs> it's a higher potion song, so it's great, but like this part right here just the oh one to save okay it fell since the girl has sang it. <laughs> Mithra! I love this game and that's why it makes up like half of this. But no, no, back to the thing. I think people are going to hate it because it does focus a lot on gaming. While personally I think this is just not only a decent channel trailer, I mean I'm using a show, not tell kind of thing. Cause like my last channel trailer was very much in your face. Just, hey, this is what's on my channel. There's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's bland. And the song for it isn't very great either. But this, I have a lot more freedom, I feel like. And just a lot more experience to work better with it. I just think other people are gonna be like, ugh, it's video games. Because that's been a pretty big reaction to me doing more gaming content. But like at the same time, basically my channel has been on a slow decline since like 2013 or something because that was when I hit my peak and then webkins has just been kind of falling out of popularity and like some people think like oh you need to if you want to get views just do webkin stuff and it's I understand that mindset because that's the audience I built however the thing is I might be getting like a tenth of my viewership on my gaming videos but one I really like them I'm very proud of them. That's a pretty big thing. And I just mentioned my channel's being in decline. What do I do? Just keep doing webkins over and over and over and wait until my channel just eventually sputters and dies? Or do I try and break into a new medium? Do other stuff. See, that's what I'm trying to do. I want to get into a new medium. I want to push myself into a different type of content. And it's not that like, oh, I don't like webkins anymore. They're going away. Everyone seems to think that. And they're like, I said it a billion times. People. Webkins are not going away. <laughs> I don't want to sit around and watch my channel slowly die with Webkins because Webkins, look at how much stuff has happened to them recently. Like, they haven't even had plushies for a while, and the most news they've given us is, like, a few new items and e-store exclusive pets. They came out and said that, yeah, uh, the digital stuff is what pays the bills. It's what keeps us going. It's what turns a profit, basically. So, Ken's tubers who use the stuffed animals, where does that leave us? I want to break into different things. I don't want this channel to die, and I don't think people fully grasp that. It's not just, oh, I'm chasing views. I mean, I watched Webkin's Fan on E1's new channel trailer for 2020. It, it was a good video, but... Or no, it wasn't that. It was her 2019 year in review video, not her channel trailer. It was her 2019 year in review video. Back to the actual point, she mentioned about how she went to do gaming and then just didn't get the viewership and I understand that and I'm kind of doing the exact same thing and she said oh I realized it didn't work that's why I went back to webcams it's like that's that's good I'm just seeing a community slowly getting smaller and dying and I don't want my channel to be sucked up into that the problem is I really can't seem to get my videos like Sonic Adventure in search results I like to do a little more mature stories I mean I kind of look back at my old videos because this I'm actually realizing something the last couple of things your island episodes stank for one really big reason there was no fun it was like a giant no fun allowed sign. I pushed the seriousness so far that it was like, ah, 
that is not great. So I kind of want to go back and rewrite some of this episode that's like almost finished being written and just have some wacky fun. So I guess there's your explanation as to why I'm not funny anymore and why I'm pushing gaming. I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm redoing the channel trailer because it needs to reflect my channel more. And my old one is all webkins and then a few things of a camera being pointed at a screen. I need to show people that are coming to my channel, hey, if you're, if you're coming for gaming, it's not so important to camera at a screen, there's like actual capturing software i say software hardware now part of another problem is like for this channel trailer i'm really trying to push like higher quality video because i want people to also see that hey you come to my channel if you come here for like camcorder stuff the quality doesn't look like garbage <laughs> this is 720p it looks like garbage there's there's no getting around it. it looks like absolute garbage there's a couple of 720p videos i have that actually look decent. There's not a lot though because like I didn't start recording 1080p until like the past two three years and I don't have a lot of good content to grab from that. That's like the entire thing I'm having because it's all dark and serious and while this channel trailer has a more of a serious tone there's not as many jokey things about it. It's like I just want something good and there hasn't been like okay Kinzel PD ended before I got this camera that does 1080p. My other one did 1080p as well but my argument was that no one's going to notice if it's 1080p because most people use laptops that only have 720p screens. And while that argument is still kind of valid, even in this day and age, um, YouTube compression. I should have thought of that, but I didn't because I didn't know it was a thing. <laughs> this whole thing has gone way, way off topic. You know what? To lighten the mood of everything I've said so far. Cat! Hey, buddy! <laughs> You're giving me that dirty look. He's in this too because I have cats and he shows up. And I love it so much. It's at the beginning. Is this near the beginning? Yes. He's this last clip right here. It's just this little hop. He's just like a little doo 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 doo. I mean, he obviously he jumps up and down. He lands at the perfect time, right in beat with a song. But also when it starts to fade out, the ball bounces in this corner of the screen. And it's just like it, everything about this clip fits the beat of the music so good. And I don't know if anyone is going to notice. So if you didn't notice, there you go. I'm not too ashamed to like show it now because, you know, it's gonna be hopefully up soon. This, I don't know what I'm gonna put here. I have to put something. I want like some type of camaraderie, but it has to be like three different clips and it has to be from like the same game or same show. And yes, it's really hard to show camaraderie with webkins because a lot of the time with webkins, I'm doing talking. I'm not doing physical comedy because they're hard to move. All I can really do is this. And that's what every episode of every si si single, the Signature Island episode is everyone just staying there going blah 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 without like doing anything physical. No like falling over, no high fives, no hugging, at least for long periods of time. Not enough to show anything in this video. Also, I really wish I could get back into sketches and stuff because this freaking now this is one of the videos that was in 720p, but it still looks okay. It's just Anne brings out a pair of scissors and Luca's like, you always carry those around? And and she's just like, yes. And he just like and then she was like, are you never not going to get attacked by stuff in the bed here? I looked at the balls and be like, why did I write that? It's so stupid, but it's funny. Okay, I can't make this joke in the trailer, so I'm going to make it right here, okay? Somebody. Gonna keep going up. I'm trying to put that anchor back in my closet, which by the way, hi, finished. He saw the ladder <laughs> and just went for it. C can you get back down okay? Think you can do it? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, look at your big feet. Hi, snowshoe. <laughs> oh my god, you're just... <laughs> Buddy, I don't know how well you can stand on this. I mean, it's, it's sturdy, but it's not very wide. <laughs> need help getting down? Okay, can you get down okay? <laughs> Look, I need to go back up there. So... Mind? Gonna go for it? <laughs> well, 
funny. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Do you need help? I think he needs help. Or no, you, you can do it on your own. You careful. 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 Oh no. You need, do, you need my help, don't you? You need mama to carry you down? There you go. <laughs> he, he loves ladders. I don't... <laughs> I don't know why. It's like it's like he says life one passion. Oh by the way, what do you think of this board? Took me forty five minutes to get on. Shows you how incompetent I am. But yeah, here's how the, the closet looks. I was gonna wait to show you until after I got the shelves back up, but then he started playing on the ladders. Like, oh I have to turn on the camera. You can really tell that I did this. <laughs> oh my god, he's going back up. Back <laughs> Oh no. Peek, that's don't don't touch my screwdriver. Don't don't touch my screwdriver. <laughs> Look, every time I try and talk, you just steal the show. Yeah? You <laughs> I just got you down from there, young man. Oh no, Pig. Not this again. You haven't been down for 30 seconds. Oh, oh, honey, you realize you can't get down on your own. Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. No, he's not. He's not gonna do Oh no, no he is. He's good. <laughs> Yay, you made it down the step. <laughs> Yay, you did it. You conquered the ladder all on your own. I was gonna say, you can really tell that I did this because it looks terrible. No one told me to take the tape off while the paint was still wet. I thought I'd do that afterwards, after everything had dried, that I didn't have to worry about dripping anything on the floor, and and then I'd take tape off and paint starts peeling away, and it... Are you trying to hide Mama's mistakes? You're trying... Oh my god. You're trying to hide Mama's mistakes. You little devil. What do you think? Every time I've ever put up like a new shelf or something or cleared one off, she immediately wants to go and sit on it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem too comfortable for her little feet, but... <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Are you ready to come down? <laughs> Are you cozy? You guys are probably noticing her little shaved foot. It's nothing to worry about. She uh, had to get some teeth removed and because she is an old cat, they wanted to do an IV just to make sure that her blood pressure and stuff stayed stable under the anesthesia. So that's all that little shave is from. There's nothing really serious going on. She just lost a few teeth. We didn't know how painful they were, sweetie. They said they knew they were causing her bad pain because while she was under the anesthesia, when they touched those teeth, her jaw started twitching. It's like, oh, but she's feeling so much better now. She seems to just get better and better every single day as it heals up. Yeah, you're a good girl. Oh, you guys show off your teeth? Yeah, that's a good baby. Finally, it's been long enough putting this off. We're building the computer. So, she's here. Not going to show because her face is on the camera, but... So, I want to go over the parts list and what we picked out for this build. So, first of all, we got this Be Quiet case because it looks like a nice case. It has dust filters. It's sound dampening. There technically were other cases we could have gone with that would have had a few more features. Like, more USB ports would have been nice, but dust filters were kind of a big thing, especially because she has four dogs. That's why we picked out this case and on top of that I think it's a pretty case. We had to wait a little bit for a back order in the color she wanted but for the motherboard we have a B450. It's a nice motherboard and considering the CPU it's not going to be able to do like any kind of overclocking but it will be able to handle the CPU just fine. It'll keep it all nice. And of course we have the star of the CPU. We got the 3600X. The reason we chose this, not just as plain 3600, is because the X version was only like 10 more dollars. It's like at that price, get the X version. And so that's nice. And we're going to be using the stock coolers. And then we got a 500 bronze power supply. Not a half bad one. We got a really good price on it. It looks good. I've already done the mail-in rebate. That's why there's the hole there. Probably should have waited until later, but you see how long it took us to build this, <laughs> so. And then the RAM, we got just a 16 gigabyte kit. DDR4 3200, it doesn't have the world's best timing, but it'll be fine, and the processor should be fine on it anyways. And then this, 
This is just a cheap Wi-Fi card. It was $12 when I bought it four years ago. It was in my computer. I'm on Ethernet now, and on top of that, my motherboard has wireless support. Hers doesn't. We didn't worry about it too much, because I figured I'll just give this to her. And then for an SSD, we just got a one terabyte 860 Cubo, because that will be nice. NVMe would have been cool to have, but it also would have been a lot more money, and just, of course, it does not have integrated graphics. So her boyfriend's giving her a graphics card, but in the meantime, we are going to use my old RX 480 to go ahead and set up the computer, and when we're all done, I'm um, gonna take it out. It is time to build the computer and actually I first want to start with the case. Lil Lil, you're gonna be upset. I know you're upset because you're, you're losing the box, but please don't tear it up. We're, we're using that to transport the computer. Oh, you're, you're going back, okay. This is speakers, by the way, because she didn't have speakers. We got this with the, with that. Don't have anything, to be honest. Yeah, but you're getting some peripherals. And, ooh. Oh, it's been so long since I've seen a new case. Oh, this one's pretty. I know your brother had problems. It says, oh, it's not sexy enough. This is sexy. My brother can suck it. <laughs> How the heck am I even gonna get this thing out of here? Oh, what a case. I like more minimalistic cases if you can't tell. Oh, shock. But look at this. This is nice. Okay, let's get this foam and plastic off. And there it is. All right, so you got the fan control. Here's the headphone microphone jack. I thought that's what these were, but no. And then you got nice power button and USB 3. Undo the thumb screws. Take off the side panel. And take a look. Ooh. And oh my god, they already managed the cables for the front. <gasps> they come pre-managed, what? I am ridiculously excited about that little bit of cable management I don't have to do. You can see, nice bit of dust filters on the bottom and the front actually doesn't seem to have, I mean there's these on the sides, but I thought there was a little more of a dust filter, but no, it just seems to be this one on the bottom, so. And I wanna take off this panel and just see what the other side looks like. All right, so nice things for cable management here, not too bad, and got some SSD mounts. We'll use that so we don't take up the hard drive mounts. And I think I will go ahead and route some cables because I think eventually she probably is gonna wanna add a storage drive because a one terabyte SSD won't do her forever, but like I said, right now we're trying to do a budget build and just leave room for upgrading if that is so needed. Time to get building, I think. Take a little look at the features of the board here. We have six SATA ports. There's even an M.2 slot. I wasn't completely aware of that, but the M.2 slot, and we got our two PCIe slots, and the back panel is already installed with eight USB ports, four of them being USB 3. Not too bad here, we got. And see, we got, oh, HDMI out directly from the board. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't think the board had HDMI out. I didn't think B450 boards had HDMI out. Because the CPUs they were compatible with didn't have graphics capabilities. Huh. Well, anyways, there's also this stuff in the box. I just got everything out because I don't know what we're gonna fully need yet. I got the manual. You know, because you need to know all of these plugs. And unless you do this frequently, no, you're not gonna know all these plugs. Well, we are all set. Basically, your motherboard has a little piece of plastic on here, and gamers from all over want to watch. I'm the worst person at doing the peel, though. Where the, does the plastic start? Does it? <laughs> uh, yeah, those gamers are in their pants, man. It's been peeled. I get it. Okay. You're not being helpful right now. Oh, it lit up. Let's play. Will it post? Fans going strong, but there's 
No output. That's there. Oh wait, detecting, detecting. Okay. Now the part I know absolutely nothing about, BIOS. <laughs> oh geez. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's Windows install time. We are going Windows 10 Pro because home is pretty garbage it looks like. And besides Pro isn't that much more. So this could take a while. Okay, I got the speakers plugged in, Windows is installed, and now it's just time for setup. <gasps> If you're wondering, her birds are going nuts, and he is like having the time. No, don't eat tape! He has an addiction to eating tape. It's the glue he wants. Stop trying to eat glue, you're bad. No, no glue. You hear me? No glue. Peek, can you stop being a brat? Don't eat this. I just want, as soon as the speakers work, and I know that I can take them out and put them back. Peek. She doesn't want your fur. No, she doesn't want your tooth marks either. Stop it. Come, come here. No, we're, go, go back. Here, go back in your new egg box. You see? Box. Box. No plastic's more interest. No! So I know the perfect thing to do to test out the speakers. Oh, these actually sound really, really good. Yep. Yep, they're working. Okay, now we can do the actual things and like install Chrome and Firefox and Fire Alpaca. <laughs> I do not want Firefox. Yes, you do. You're gonna have two browsers whether you like it or not. Why? I don't want it. Firefox is actually better than Chrome. Well, now it's time for all the software installing. So that's that's the boring part. So I'm not gonna record that. Some of you might have been yelling at me, and those of you that were were completely correct. I forgot to plug in the CD drive. You can't see anything. Ah, light! I gave the CD drive power, so when I opened it up, I didn't think anything of it. Then the discs didn't start popping up on screen. I'm like, huh. No worries, just have to route another SATA cable. I'll just plug it uh, here, I guess. Okay, gotta velcro this in and then put the panels back on, then everything should be fine. But it posted? All I did was forget to plug in one SATA cable, which is completely fine. I used I used the SATA cable and route here for a drive that doesn't exist yet. Got to put one for the drive that does exist. <laughs> Man, having no electricity is like the best motivator to clean up. So, uh, gonna do the, like the final Cinebench scores and stuff on that computer today just to go ahead and show you guys how it all went. And I was gonna get the Windows key and get every everything was gonna be nice and set up on that computer and and then, you know, we had this big storm and lost power, so I decided instead to finally organize my game box! Now that I have the Wii and Wii U under my dresser, I wanted to bring all the games here because what purpose do they have being in the living room? So, I finally have them organized, and they're not organized by console. You might or notice they're kind of organized by series and genre a little bit. Like, okay, obviously we have the Sonic games here in release order. And then we got Xenoblade and Xenoblade X because they're great. You know, that should probably be near RPGs. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to think about it. Seamu is actually getting pretty good. I'm excited to see the day that when Seamu can play Xenoblade Chronicles X really smoothly. Because, God, you know, I need to go back and play that. That was a... Fun game. That was so much fun. Terrible story. I have a lot of gripes with it, but fun game. If you own a Wii U, play this. There's pacing issues with the story and content and stuff, but the combat and the exploration, oh my god, that's so good. I am waiting for the day. Port this to the Switch. Port this to the Switch. Port this to the Switch. <laughs> of course, instead we're getting a port of of the first game in the series, you know, this one, which, you know, I'm, I'm not upset about that. I'm great. It's great we're getting Definitive Edition. But the good part is I got all this to fit and it looks nice and I can just open it up and see what games there are and just grab them. Before I fit two other consoles in here and I didn't have room for anything because I stuck the Wii U right here and I had the Dreamcast there, but then I set everything up and it's like, now it's all good. Now the only console in here is my Genesis, which I don't play because... Let's be real. Sonic 2 with box and manual. That's like my pride and joy because that's one of my favorite games. Got Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, I don't have Sonic 1, I just have Sonic Classics. Includes three great Sonic games. Doesn't tell you which ones they are. I own all these games on Steam and they're also on Mega Collection, so I don't really need to have the Genesis out. When you have limited space, you take 
advantage of what you can do. Buying this little tub here was like the best thing in my life. Yes, the power is back on. No, I did not film like I was supposed to. And yes, I did finally get my closet put back together. It may look like a hot bunch of garbage, but I assure you, it is an organized hot bunch of garbage. But now the question is, the door closed. It does. But yeah, I'm also not putting my webkins back in here until I film a collection video because I'm gonna have to organize them all to stick them back in here and I don't wanna stick them back in here and then pull them all out like a couple weeks later to do a collection video. And so they're not going back in until then. Hopefully soon I can like put them back in my room at least. his legs. <laughs> he's doing it under you. I know he's doing it under me. I'm like, what on earth are you doing? I wish your butt wasn't in my face. You <laughs> smell so bad. <laughs> he takes offense to that. Oh, he's very man. sensitive. He, he needs to be looking his butt. <laughs> Never mind. We're in the dark again. Aren't we, Peek? Oh boy. I keep trying to be like, we can't connect to Webkin's world, but then it doesn't know where to send me, so it just lets me keep playing the game. I'm not going to get any of this kid's cash, but it's something to do. And while I'm copying movies to my to my phone, yeah. This thing is a freaking lifesaver. This is a UPS, by the way. Like, it was about 200 bucks, I think, but like, the best 200 bucks I've ever spent. I freaking love this thing. I can technically run my computer under full load for about 20 minutes, but considering it's not really under load right now, it's good. If you have the money and you have a desktop computer, I highly recommend investing in a UPS. It's it's so great to have a battery backup. Don't get one of those like cheap ones. Get like a really good one because you will love it in the end. I'm charging a phone right now. I am charging my secondary phone. It it doesn't have any service, but I'm charging up so I can use it as a flashlight if I need an extra flashlight. Okay, finished copying the stuff over. Which by the way, right right here, I just want to mention something. I have to turn this off because my UPS is at like 25% power. I just want to say to anyone thinking about possibly buying a Blu-ray drive, don't. Because here's the thing I learned. I spent $80 on a Blu-ray drive. You know what I learned from it? I learned that in order to actually play Blu-ray movies on your computer, what you actually need to do is buy some expensive DVD player that has the codecs for decoding Blu-ray discs. Because, funny story, unlike DVDs where the decoding codecs are like available widely everywhere, they're completely free to use, Blu-rays are not. They're not like public knowledge. So, you know, I can't really play Blu-ray movies, but you know what I can do? Rip them. Yeah, so I, I downloaded a program and I, I ripped lots of our DVDs and Blu-rays because you know what? I can't watch the movies in the thing I bought to watch the movies which makes me very salty. I'm going to watch them on my computer one way or another. I'm going to do that in a way you might not like it, companies. But you know what? You didn't make it easy for me to do it any other way. I wouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have ripped like our entire DVD collection if this computer could just play this stuff without me having to spend like another 80 bucks on some expensive software just so that way I could watch these movies when I have VLC. VLC works great already, but it only plays some because other ones have too strong of copyright protection. You see what you've done? It's not piracy if it's for your own private use and, well, it's for my own private use. So, just a note, companies, if you don't want us to do something, then actually let us, you know, use stuff the way we want without making it so complicated. All right, I flashed the bios. You can see now it's got a later date version and I have set the uh the ram timings so yep we should be good also this one is here with me hi Lolo. all right we can see now the memory is running at the correct frequency and it's got my graphics card in there okay so yeah i think we are ready to run cinebench and it's a stock cooler so it's not going to be great but go run cinebench let it run and let's see how the temperatures look 
Okay, it seems to be powering back now, so I think Tess is done. I reached a max of 78 degrees Celsius, and that's the score. Not bad. We are going to try single thread. So I got curious and looked at the Cinebench score compared to other websites. And if you look at this, we got like 200 points more than their score. So she might have actually won like the Silicon Lottery with her CPU we got. I'm going to check some other sources and see. So yeah, uh, take a look at this here. Uh, is it about done with the single thread yet? Nope. And there is our single thread score. So yeah, I would say we've basically got a finished system here. I say that, but first what needs to be done? Some things need to be changed, like the calculator does not need to run in the background. Neither does the camera. Groove music. I don't even know what the heck this is. You know, I'm just, I'm going to let her uninstall the stuff she decides she doesn't want. I mean, of course, we don't need Candy Crush. Get get out of here. It's so stupid how they pre-bundle Windows 10 now with freaking Candy Crush. Farm Hero Saga, I know she doesn't want that. Why? No. Feedback Hub doesn't need access to all this stuff anyways. Get help. Something I like to say to Windows in general. Microsoft Edge. Because that has access to all of your stuff and freaking <laughs> runs in the background even if you're not using it. Isn't that such BS? I'm just making sure like everything doesn't run in the background because I think this computer feels a little bit sluggish and I feel like that's the reason why because look at all this stuff that's just like, hi, I'm going to run in the background whether you like it or not. Like literally, if anyone else is running Windows 10, I honestly recommend you go through and just like go through your apps here and turn off a lot of stuff. Okay, well I think that's basically taking care of the background apps. And I already feel like this computer is moving a little bit faster. Background processes, unfortunately you can't turn off Cortana no matter how much you want to. I really wish you could, but no, Cortana is always there. And now we basically just need to activate Windows, so get going. Are you serious right now? Are you absolutely serious? I have to save this battery because I'm in the middle of doing a RAM test. Oh, is it, is it staying back on? Well, then I turned my computer off for nothing. Get back on. So just ran a memory test real quick and no errors, everything looks good. This computer is basically done, just needs a Windows key. I'm gonna get that Windows key on it soon, I promise. We've done enough. I've already showed you building the computer, doing the Windows setup, and now it just, all it really needs to be done is the key. So while talking about computers, I'm just gonna give you a quick update here on this channel trailer I saw, or you saw me working on earlier. And you'll notice I have significantly less video clips over here, and significantly less time without the music on. There's no more patches. I literally just have from like 4.16 to 4.43 to go, and that will be it. I just have to fill up that last spot, and I, oh, there's so many parts. I want to, I tell you what, I want to find some way, I want to like find some way to put this clip at the beginning, okay? Just. Do you actually have a plan, or is that too much to expect? Morag isn't very sassy, but the time she is, that, oh, that's a burn on Rex. And my brother really wanted me to stick this in here, so I don't know if there's just a place for it, but just to, you know... You know what? No thanks. I don't pick on it yet. And then there's also one... You know, I'm not gonna show the video. I'm just gonna let you listen to the audio here. I'll be used to people doing awful things. What the heck are these clips? Why are they all the way out here? Come here. Come here, you children. Are they from Valkyria Chronicles 4? Is that why they're out there? No, it's that's, that's Delilah. I hate you so much. I don't worry, Callie. We hate you too. Max! I've talked so much about this already, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying Sonic Adventure that I haven't really been working on very much during this vlog. I had other things to do. And, uh, Ink, if you watch this, I hope you enjoy your computer. So, the next weekly vlog will be when I finally deliver her computer to her. It's not being shipped. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one later. And you thought I was never gonna do it.